Okay guys, we're over here at Kiki's Red Tacos. Here this place is awesome. Super excited to give it a shot. So we're gonna see how it is. We'll show you guys. So Kiki's Red Tacos, it's a taco truck. So I don't really care normally if it's a truck, a stand, or a restaurant. I care about how good the food is. So in just a few minutes, I'm gonna get my food. It takes about half an hour. Can't wait to see what it's like. I got a feeling it's gonna be kick ass because I've heard a lot of things from a lot of people about this place. Okay, so let's show you guys what you get. You ready for this? Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go give these a, give these a shot. That's good stuff. So I had to relocate into the truck because it was going to start to rain. So just look at what you get here. Wow. And the the consomme, I think that's how you say it, that they give you with the, with the four tacos. Unbelievable. To be totally honest with you guys, this was the first time I came here. And you're going to say, why am I putting it on the best list? Because so many people I trust very well with food told me about it. And it definitely does not disappoint. Highly, highly recommend Kiki's, mm, <laughs> Kiki's Red Tacos. So right behind me is El Taco de Mexico. One of my favorite go-to places in Denver to get tacos and Mexican food. What you want to get here is the taco plate. You can get pork, you can get beef, and you can get some exotic meats like tongue and things like that. Not so into those. I've tried them, but not so into it. But the pork, I love it. And the hot sauce. So. The hot sauce at El Taco de Mexico around Denver, the street name is Liquid Gold because if you try to buy it, one styrofoam cup is $10. There's a reason though. It's unique, it's delicious. Highly recommend you guys get the hot sauce when you come. So it's El Taco de Mexico. It's on Santa Fe in Denver. It'll, there'll be a link at the end of my video for it for you guys. So let's go in and grab some food. Okay guys, El Taco de Mexico. So one thing that's gonna get you a little confused it looks like a crappy little Mexican place, but it's not. And the prices reflect that. It's actually a little bit more expensive than you would think. But it's amazing, and the hot sauce is amazing. One thing I'm going to tell you right away, when you walk in, it smells terrible. I don't know why, but the place smells terrible when you walk in. Don't let that dismay you. The food is amazing, and I, I just love this place. It's my go-to place. One thing you guys got to get when you come here is extra salsa. The hot sauce here is amazing. Some people call it Denver Gold. It's, it's expensive if you buy it just straight up, but it is awesome. So when you get your meal, I suggest at least, as long as you can handle spicy foods, I suggest at least two cups of the hot sauce on your food. Definitely, definitely get it. And you'll enjoy the meal. I'm about halfway done. Awesome. Okay guys, so this is probably my favorite one. We just call him the Taco Guy. Right now he's located on 8th and Federal and he's been here for quite a while, probably about a year now. Before that, he was on 6th and Federal. The best pastor tacos in all of Denver, honestly, the best I've had in the country. So, and they're cheap, they're like a dollar a taco, and the people here are awesome. Good environment. He's open as soon as it gets dark till probably midnight. Definitely gotta check this one out. This is, I mean, all the places are good, but this is the one I probably come to the most. By far, guys, I know I said it, my go-to place in Denver for tacos. I mean, look at that, they're cutting it off the spit throws it right on the grill. This is exactly, if, if you haven't been to like a small town in Mexico, this is how it's done. You know, amazing, just amazing. So, this is what you get when you come to what I call the taco guy. Look at that, pastor tacos. Now, they're pretty incredible, and I'm gonna warn you, the red, the red salsa, extremely hot, but it is one of my favorites, and I definitely, hang on guys little adjustment there we go I definitely come here all the time this, this this is not to be played around with this is good stuff I go to Mexico a lot and this is dead on the same as Mexico I mean I, I think it's actually better than a lot of places I go to in Mexico so number one place on my list well I'm just gonna say it's the number one the taco guy eighth and federal in Denver Okay guys, well, I'm all done with the taco video. I have had tacos four times today. 
And you know what? I have one taco left. <laughs> can't do it. I can't do it. But I hope I helped you guys out finding the best Mexican food in Denver. Really, these, these places are good. You can't go wrong in any of them. The kind of place you could take anybody there and they'll like them. So that's it for the tacos video. I'll do another one soon for some other kind of food, but I hope this helps you guys. Now I'm going to go home and lay on the couch in a food coma. Right. Well, that's it, you guys. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helps you find some good Mexican food in Denver, whether you're a tourist or whether you live here. Maybe you don't know about these places. So you got a place I missed that you think is, is the best? Let me know. Shoot me a message on the Instagram. I'm doing other food videos. Uh, some of you guys know I used to actually be a food critic. So I do food all over the place. So let me know. I'll check it out. And you pretty much can't lose with any of these places. One thing I should point out, the taco guy is only open once it gets dark. Six days a week, he's closed on Mondays. So any day but Monday, you can go over there and you'll win at all of them. James has a Jeep, does not like El Taco de Mexico. I don't know why, but he likes all the other places. So go out there, get some food, enjoy yourself. And remember, John always has more fun. We'll catch you guys later.